What's going on, my Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my return OG subscribers, what's popping, what's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really, really do appreciate that. To my members only community, it goes without saying, I love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cognac, your amaretto. Ooh, I just heard peach Hennessy. Whatever it takes, Scorpio, to wind down and tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I am offering um, $50 personal readings today only. I'll do that sporadically, guys. Just when I'm not doing anything, I'm not busy. I always think about you guys. Alright. So, anything else you need to know is in the description box below. Let's tell the fucking hands, Scorpio. The first energy you got out is unrequited. So, somebody's trying to return and says, One-sided love, not enough attraction. Feelings are not mutual. I feel like this was somebody that you were absolutely crazy about. Like, everybody thought you and this person would actually live to get old with each other that's that's the energy i'm getting um but i feel like things change people change i feel like too either i was about to say i feel like either you're married or they are right now and coming towards you is what i'm getting but um scorpio i feel like Let me get another card. Because this feels, it feels real complicated. Self-delusion. Not seeing real, reality clearly. Lying to yourself. False notions about things. Yeah. See, I don't know if this is you or them, Scorpio. But it's like... This is real weird energy. Because first of all, somebody here is married. I'm getting that just a stronger day. If, if one of y'all is not married, both of y'all are married. But the thing about it is, Scorpio, you're not coming towards anybody. This person is coming towards you. It's like been years. It's like, what are, they, what are they, you know, I feel like you're in the energy of what are they thinking? Like, maybe you've moved on. Maybe you're the one that's married now, Scorpio. Let's see. I just kind of feel like this person... When y'all left each other, you left them, or they left you, I just feel like, train tracks, confirmation. I feel like it was unfinished. I feel like you were done, but this person wasn't done. I like, they didn't understand why the breakup happened. It just seemed, I, I started to say too, I feel like somebody was on drugs. Like, this feels like, this feels like your person, Scorpio, had a long, like, struggle with drugs. I feel like they got over the shit, but it's like once they once they got clean, it's like it's almost like the start of the drugs. Okay, they started doing drugs when you and them broke up, right? And when they cleared up and got clean, it's like they're right back. They they never left that that era of when y'all broke up. Is what I'm getting here. I'm hearing that's what the drugs was about and everything. So I feel like that's what that self-delusion is. It's like when this person, you know, they they did drugs a long time to get over you, Scorpio, which ain't, 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 ain't your fault. I mean, it ain't a good thing, but I'm just saying this is what happened. And now this person is clean, and even though they're married, it's like all they seem to think about now is you, Scorpio. See, toxic. Y'all shit was toxic. When y'all were together, it was toxic. I feel like people on the outside looking in, though, was self had a lot of self-delusion, too, because they thought y'all was just like this perfect couple or something. It says, not good for you, low vibrational, toxic relationship. And then you got phone call. Yeah, you're going to hear from this person, Scorpio. I'm hearing about a weekend. It says, expressions of interest, wanting to talk, communication is key. On the bottom of the deck, you have boundaries. No more enabling, feeling used, setting healthy boundaries. Yeah, it's just like... 
you heard about all this person's struggles and things that they went through, Scorpio. I kind of feel like you not really kept an eye on this person, but like from time to time, I feel like you wonder what what was going on with them. Whether where what were they doing good or you know were they still on drugs? Like it's a no for you, Scorpio. Is what I'm hearing. So let's see. Let's get some of this Kipper dick and see where this person's mind is at. Okay, great fortune is here. So maybe this person came into some money, or maybe this, uh, maybe this person is is looking at you as a great fortune. The number twenty six could be significant. Two plus six is eight. I feel like this person, because to me it feels frozen in time, Scorpio. It feels like this person only remembers like what happened before the breakup. They don't under, they don't, it's like they don't remember the breakup. They don't remember anything after that. So now here they are again, even though they got a wife. Does that make sense? It almost feels like a soul tie to me. Let's see. Yeah, thoughts. It feels like a soul tie. And imprisonment. Soul tie is what I'm getting from thoughts and imprisonment. Thank you, Source. Sudden wealth is in the reverse here. This person always felt like you had somebody else the reason you left them. They they never this person would never just straight up be like, you know, um Sorry about that, Scorpio. Let me put my do not disturb on. All right, it's like this person, Scorpio, they can't escape, escape it. They feel like the, the the better time of their life was when they spent it with you. And they, and they, you know, now it's like they're not interested. This person was a karmic anyway. They're not interested in who they're married to anymore. I feel like this person they married to, this karmic, I feel like she saw him through a lot of shit. Like, for real, like this was the person, this was the enabler. This was the person who fed him drugs when he wanted drugs. This was the person who just were, was willing to have him any way they could have him. This could be a baby mama or something as well, I'm just getting, but definitely a karmic. Now he's not on drugs, so she what can she supply him with? There was definitely no connection, no love there, so here this person come back. This this person feels imprisoned in their thoughts. This person could have had a great marriage, like I said. I feel like this person really supported this person or like enabled this person, but they would look at it as supporting because you know Scorpio, you'd be like, "What the fuck? You doing drugs now? You definitely wouldn't be toting no drugs to this bitch. That would have been an instant breakup." Um, but yeah, I feel like on with people on the outside looking in, this this connection with this person, you know, it's like everybody feel like it's a good deal because of how she stuck by. Her. This person could have even went to prison. Because this person did really, got really, like, street walking bad on drugs. But you wouldn't even know it now if you look at them, they look like a brand new person. Why is unrequited love here? The whole damn dead field, Scorpio. Why is unrequited love here? You have the strength card. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this person could be a Leo. But what I'm getting is this person went through a lot of struggle. Like after y'all, this person went through a lot, a lot of shit after y'all broke up, Scorpio. Cause what I'm getting is you was you was this person's guardian guardian angel. You were the reason this person kind of withstand the way they did as long as they did. I feel like this person dealt with drug problems all their life. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like whoever this person is, who they 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 like they were supposed to be somebody, like they may have an engineering um degree or like something like that because it feels like they lost everything due to drugs. Even you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. It, it feels like somebody lost a damn good ass retirement, family, you know, due to drugs and going to prison for things like theft and you know trying to generate money to buy drugs yeah the chariot i feel like you i feel like on this i feel like scorpio with you and this person i feel like you never really just like thought about this person anymore in the context of like y'all being together like you always wanted this person to be okay 
and you always want to spiritually check up on them, like y'all could have some type of telepathy shit going on, because this seemed like a little, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know what I'm saying? Like it seems kind of taboo too, like, but it's unrequited. It's like you don't, no matter how you look at it, it's like, <laughs> what it feel like to me, Scorpio, I'm going to be honest. It feel like you don't understand why the fuck this person trying to contact you, really. That's what I'm hearing. Like, you you confused. Like, with the chariot and the strength card, it's been so long ago since this connection. You, you've you gotten over it. You've moved on. They've moved on. Like, why are you coming? You know, it's like, when you say goodbye to this person, you meant that shit. You don't understand, like, why are you coming back? Watch the chariot here. Too many. That one wanted to come out. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you had to move forward to some a better connection. This person wasn't giving you anything to work with, Scorpio. You was pouring into this person. That's why it's unrequited. Even now, um, like this person, I feel like even now that they have 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 been clean for for a period of time, and you know, I feel like. In this connection that they're with this comic, I feel like it is a lot of give and take. I feel like this person has been fucking practicing with them what they want to do with you, Scorpio. That's just what I'm getting. Like, this person, they want to reciprocate now, but it's too late. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here for Unwell Crider? Yeah, the Death card. It's just, I feel like this person is, I feel like you was this person's covering. There go right there. I feel like you was this person's covering. The Eight of Wands in reverse. When this person decided to detour and go back on drugs and, you know, get off this path that you guys were on, then you had, it's nothing else you could do for them. The Knight of Swords in reverse. In other words, Scorpio, you see this as a chapter close in your life when, when you left this person. Like, you you see it as a chapter close, and this person sees it as, as a new chapter opening up. Y'all on two different pages here when it comes to this. Either way, this person coming towards you, okay? The emperor in the bottom of the deck. This person could be a business owner now. I mean, they really got their shit together. That's what I keep hearing. Yeah, why self-delusion um, here? Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse and the fucking Queen of Swords. Like, Scorpio, it is... It's really like you you don't want to be bothered with these energies. And I feel like, to me, this Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse is witchcraft. Clarifying this self-delusional, that's this karmic. This person, I feel like they always done witchcraft. And I feel like your person wasn't so much open to it, but it was the drugs. You know how they say dr um, drugs like open you up to different things? I feel like when, when she fed him this, these drugs, I feel like she used to feed him spells as well. I feel like he wouldn't even know what the fuck she was doing. And I feel like it's still on him, even though he's broken free from drugs. But see, it's getting weaker. Something has broke. When he stopped doing the drugs, it broke whatever spell this person has been doing, too. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse on self-delusion. This person is just like... Whatever this person appears to be, they're not. I feel like this person could look very presentable, you know, like... Somebody you like a librarian or something. This bitch evil. She wicked as fuck, bro. She lies. She's not a good mother. Very cold, detached. The only person she show emotion to is him. And it's fake. Why is the Queen of Cups here in reverse? Yeah, the Five of Swords in reverse. Still delusions. This person is still thinking this witchcraft is working. They have no idea. That your person, that this person want to come back, their person, I should say, want to come back to you, Scorpio. Hmm. Why is the Queen of Swords? Somebody is lying about something. Something is being exposed. Yeah, that Emperor wanted to come out. Something is being exposed about this karmic here. Feel like your Emperor found out something, found out about the witchcraft, or found out about. Another person or something like that. Yeah, I feel like it feels like now that your person is not on drugs, it's like they're back to their like original boss type shit. Like they're an entrepreneur now. 
they're stable, they're emotionally intelligent. It's like something not adding up in their dynamic. It's very toxic here. The temperance card is here. I feel like this I feel like Scorpio, they think you're their earth angel. They really do think that. Like this person is really trying to get to you. They need your opinion on something. They want to see where you're at with something. This person would even settle for being friend zone, is what I just heard. What is self delusion and the emperor? Yeah, the king of cups. The king of cups upright with the queen of cups in reverse. See what what is given to me is like with the king of cups being here it feels like like your person they went through a lot but they came out with this king of cups they came out a better man. You know what I'm saying? A better father. I feel like the drugs, everything took this person to a, almost what people thought was a point of no return. But just as far down as they went, they've come back up. Like, they're taking care of their children. Now I'm hearing this person could even be taking care of their mom. Like, this person is on the right track again. They're on the right path. And when the king of cups, it just makes sense to them emotionally to approach you, Scorpio, and just try. They, they realize that this is over. It's too toxic. It was okay when they were toxic, but now that they're not toxic, they just want to break free. The Page of Wands, they want to break free. They want to break free with you. They want to break free anyway from this karmic, but they want to come towards you, the Knight of Pentacles. This person, I like the Knight of Pentacles because they're very strategic. This is somebody who plans just about everything. They don't make certain moves. I feel like this person been watching your social media. They've been keeping tabs on you, too. I feel like this person is close to your family as well. So they might be stopping in over there or something. But I feel like you get a phone call by the weekend. Why is Toxic here? Yeah, the Five of Wands. See, I feel like it's no more bullshit. You know how they, you know, like, when this person was on drugs, I feel like this woman, you know, she had a job. She had a duty. She was active in the witchcraft you know everything was like moving quick for her in the direction she wanted to and now it's like no so now they're fighting your person is fighting for their independence they're fighting for their freedom here yeah the ace of swords i'm telling the truth i feel like this person being honest too and the more honest they're being with this comic bitch the more fucking spell work she doing it's like try it's like he's saying try harder to her instead of leave me the fuck alone and I feel like they don't even know nothing about you yet, Scorpio. That's that's a whole nother read. And what's the um yeah, the ace of cups. This person is moving towards new love. This pro this pro now that this person is free of drugs, Scorpio, their whole mindset is different. They want new everything because they have their sobriety. They are a new creature now. It's like, why would, you know, you're the only thing that they want to go back to, Scorpio. And it's unrequited. It's just, it's not enough chemistry between you guys. I don't feel like it was in the first beginning. Yeah, the hangman. But this person is hoping you change your mind, Scorpio. This person is hoping you look at them different, the situation different now that they're not on drugs. That they're entrepreneur, that they're emotionally intelligent. This person could even just simply be saying, like, let's go out on a date. Let's just reconnect, get to know each other again. They might even use that approach. But this person is madly, obsessively in love with you, Scorpio. The only thing that was able to keep this person's mind off of you was drugs. And I'm talking about he did a lot of drugs to keep his mind off of you. Or she, take it out, resonates. Watch the hangman here. Yeah, the two of swords in reverse. I feel like you're struggling with this, Scorpio. Even though it's unrequited, it's, it's like you're in a place where maybe you're single. Maybe you're considering like going out on a couple of dates with this person. Because I feel like other than chemistry and just like y'all being on two different pages, it don't seem like it was any like third party situations. It just... I don't know. Hmm. Why is phone call here? Why is phone call here?
Okay, the four of swords in reverse. You're going to get a phone call, Scorpio, that's going to scare the shit out of you. It's going to wake you up in the middle of the night. I don't know. This is bad news, Scorpio. This is something about your family. And then the will of fortune. Yeah, something, I, you know, whatever done to you already done back to them. I feel like, Scorpio, you're going to get a phone call that's going to be very disappointing to you. I feel like if it wasn't for how your family treated you, you would be like hysterically crying for whatever this phone call is. But I feel like it's divine justice that's coming. I feel like somebody you're gonna you're gonna hear about it. That's just that on that. You're gonna hear about something somebody tried to do to you back for him. And it's a family dynamic. With the four of swords, something wakes you up about this. Something, yeah, the four of pentacles. Hold on, Scorpio. Sorry about that, Scorpio. Um yeah, with the four of pentacles being here, that will of fortune, I just feel like somebody was trying to do something to you to, to like stop your destiny. Somebody was trying to hold on to your inheritance or cheat you out your inheritance. Now it's like whatever you were going to inherit, they lost it all. And God is still going to bless you with new everything. Yeah, look, the nine of wands because you set boundaries. You learn to pray for your enemies is what I heard. The will of fortune is turning in your favor, Scorpio. Yeah, the devil in the bottom of the deck. I feel like to this family, whoever this family is that's that's obsessed and doing all these witchcraft rituals on you, it's not going to work. And I feel like they're going to end up somewhere where they didn't expect to end up. And I feel like you're going to get that call soon, Scorpio. Why is the will of fortune here for Scorpio? Yeah, the world. Something about an abrupt ending here. I feel like, too, I feel like a cycle is being closed with you and your family, Scorpio. I feel like this person is coming coming in your life in a time where whether or not the love is unrequited, but I feel like this is somebody you always was, it was always easy for you to talk to and vice versa. I feel like that's one of the things you miss about this person, laughing and talking, you know. Why is the Nine of Wands here? I feel like with the Nine of Wands, Scorpio, you gave up on it. Whatever this inheritance is, you don't want it. You never, you never gauge your life on it. You always did what you had to do. You've always earned your way through like this. And it, it's sad because, yeah, Six of Wands, you always did what you needed to do. With less, with less. Yeah, the lovers, everything, I just feel like, you know, Scorpio, everything is coming full circle. I feel like God just ex exposed everybody in your life. That's what they're doing. That's what spirit and ancestors are doing because you set boundaries. Now that you're setting these boundaries, it's like your life just continue to flourish. You find love. And this don't have to be romantic love all the time. Just good, healthy relationships with normal people that want to actually do the work. That want to live together happily ever after. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that means to you, the nine of pentacles. You're single and abundant right now. You're single. God is setting you aside. That's that's why, you know, it's people. This is an unrequited love, but I feel like that's the type of person you need to be talking to right now. Somebody you're not going to fall back in love with. Somebody you're not going to, you know, be in the same predicament you were in six months ago or a year ago, right? This is somebody that knows you. Somebody who been through some shit. And somebody you that don't have any personal interest in tearing your name up or, you know, tearing you up behind your back. Like, this was never you and this person's communication or connection. Okay? So, it feels like that to me. With the Nine of Pentacles, this person just always admired you. Always admired your strength. Always admired how, you know, you were able to just cut through everything, Scorpio. And be successful. People are, it's a lot of people, Scorpio, contrary to what you think and you're about to find out. It's a lot of people that admire you. 
It's a, it's a lot of people that low-key don't want you dead, but it's a lot of people low-key, high-key, all kind of keys want you out of here, but you're too protected, Scorpio. If they could have killed you, you'd have been gone a long time ago, trust me. Because these people, they're obsessed with it. They, they, it's, it's crazy that somebody would want to witchcraft somebody into loving them for the rest of their life. Like, who the fuck do that? The fuck they do that at? What's the energy here for Scorpio? But I love that Nine of Pentacles energy because what it's telling me, Scorpio, is you learn to love yourself. You love to learn yourself if you're single, if you're married to somebody. You just love the fuck out of you, period. I love that energy. What are the guided messages? I'm here in focus, Scorpio. Keep your mind on straight. You're on the right path. You 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 made some right you made some good choices some sound choices lately three 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 on the on the clock yeah confidence is on the bottom of the deck yeah focus I can't make this shit up it's time to buckle down is what I'm hearing messages why because you're getting all kind of downloads at this time Scorpio and plus you get a lot of messages I'm here to check out your voice messages. Something you've been waiting to hear, somebody you've been waiting to hear from, or something you've been waiting to hear about, it's in your voicemail. It's been almost a week. Differences. You and this person, what did I tell you? Y'all had a lot of differences, but it's y'all differences that attract y'all. And I feel like the unrequited love, you're complicated. <laughs> I feel like the, un is it unrequited, Scorpio? I feel like Source is putting you and this person in place. I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's get a moon knowledge. No, let's get a love angel for this person. And then we're going to get out of here, Scorpio. What are the love messages here? Love messages here. Here, one more. Thank you, Source. You're calling in your soulmate. We know that. You deserve love. This might not be the unrequited love. It may be somebody else. <laughs> Nope, there it go again, Scorpio. I can't make this shit up. Y'all just gonna be friends. You and this person gonna be friends on attraction. I don't know. Maybe maybe after y'all start kicking it again, y'all may have some found attraction with each other. You know, whatever it was that happened in, in the first beginning. Maybe y'all aren't so different now that this person is healed. Right, Scorpio? All right, Scorpio gang, gang, gang. If you're still with me, like, subscribe, join, let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. And I am running the $50 personal readings today only when the clock strikes 12. I'm back to the members only community. I see you in the next video.